Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to configure our runtime and also we will be looking at some of the errors that we will be facing while configuring the runtime. So this is a STS Spring Tool Suite. This problem may also arise in Eclipse or any other IDE. So how to configure it? This is a Spring Boot project. So let's see how we can configure our runtime. So whatever the project you are working on, you can select that uh, project and just uh, click on properties. In properties you can see runtime target server target runtime. So you click on targeted runtimes and you just don't see any servers here. So it may be installed in your uh, local path but it is not visible here. So what you can do you can just uh, click on show all runtimes see it is now disabled here you cannot enable it from here so in that case it will be problem for you to start your run your project so what we can do we can change some of our project settings in that case you can just go to project facts and you can check what are all things you want in your project According to that, you can uh, you can manage your runtime. So for me, this is the problem. So when I'm using this person, Cloud Foundry, I'm not using this one. Standalone uh, for standalone application, this will be basically this will be checked by default. So you need to un uncheck this option if you're working on a Spring Tool Suite. You have to uncheck this option and uh, just click on dynamic web module and for that you can see your dynamic web module 3.0 requires 1.6 or newer so here is a java you can select and just click on apply so now you can go to your runtime target return time and you can now see you are able to enable it from here so your target run time is configured and just click on apply and apply and close you can click so this is now configured and you will be able to run your project on server so thanks for watching like my videos and subscribe my channel thank you